Hmm. Mercenary Kings on the PC. I'm bringing this is another Steam free special, a game that I bought off of Steam, but it runs without Steam. Not complaining about that. I want to say this game is laptop friendly. I'll see if I can pull up my videos of that. But we're going to do a research stream here. This is a side scrolling. Uh, roguelite gear base, gear crafting base game, I guess. I'll have to double check. I, I, I played a bit of this game several months ago and I forgot most of it. That's why we're doing the research stream now. Uh, um, good, but what was that woman up there in the top left hand corner? What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't want to know. It's like quiet from a. <laughs> it's like we got a quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5, I guess. Uh, no. We're wrong with the gamepad, obviously. Play mode. I guess there was only one game. There's only one mode, huh? Okay, I guess we'll do that. You were offline. We're gonna play. We're not any of that crap. Next. That's a very odd uh, set of discrete values here to go up and down for the percentages. But anyway, we're going full screen, obviously. Version 1.5, huh? Wonder what got patched in. This game was this game was in a uh, early access for a while. I want to say, hey, I don't know the difference is between any of these people. I guess we're going frig. Let's represent a little bit. Yeah, it's represent. We go dark. Hey, you. I know. We we'll go frigs. Yeah, Terrence Frigs. Yeah, I gotta work that out. So, yeah, I remember this game being a platformer with some roguelite elements, you know, a little bit of exploration, a little bit of uh, gear gathering, some crafting, I want to say. I think it's a run-based game. I, like I said, it's been a while since I played it. I guess they're going for that, uh, that Scott versus the universe, Scott Pilgrim versus the world look, I guess. I think it's okay. I mean, I, I'm, okay, I'm okay with it. I'll play along. So as you can see by some of the character designs, I guess they were they were trying to be somewhat, you know, somewhat more mature in the <laughs> character designs. We'll see how that goes. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting enough art style. Reach Camp Crown. Mandragora Island. Okay, fine. I want to say this art style is definitely familiar, and it's not just from uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I want to say there are, I mean, maybe I guess it's a bit like Advance Wars, but it's like, it's that super deformed look, but it's got a, it, but it's super deformed, but it's, but the eyes aren't anime, really. So it's not anime super deformed. I want to say there are a couple of European games kind of like this. Some old European uh, PC games. Talk. Shoot with X, reload with RB, and use your knife with Y. So Y is for melee. Shoot with X. Do I have, uh, how much ammo do I have? Yeah, I have limited ammo. I, think I can reload it, though. Oh, so there's a Gears of War-like uh, reload system. Like that. So you have to stop it inside the green. And what do you get when you stop it in the green? Are the bullets stronger? I think you're more likely to get crits. I don't know. Might be more likely to get critical hits. So it's dice rolling on the shooting. Okay. So the bullets do X amount of damage with some multiplier going on, I guess. Let's uh, see the mini map by pressing mini. Move the map with the right stick. So that map. So that's where we're going. We're going to the we're going to the r left. So we practice a few other things. Okay, so it's a guaranteed. So this knife does a guaranteed amount of damage, I guess. Can you crouch turn? You cannot crouch turn. That's very disappointing. That's my bit now. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna admit it. That's my bit now. <laughs> I, I don't ask for much, but in some games, I like a good crouch turn. You can't even crouch turn in a Contra. And that, you can die in Contra because you can't crouch turn. Don't get me started on that. Because that game has a bunch of other problems. But that's like Crouch turning alone wouldn't solve Contra's problems. It's where the crates to open up. Press down to the You can like your limited number of supplies in your backpack. Yeah, so it's inventory management in this game, too. Huh? C4. Hold LB and press the direction to equip an item for your backpack. So you hold down LB and then you get this little D-pad operated menus. Down, up, left, down, left, up, down. Okay. 
Not gonna use a C4. What's a transceiver for? Temporal transceiver. Okay, so I uh, press the X button. They got this Metal Gear Bonnet Commando thing going on, huh? Create an energy pod, teleport you to the start of the level. It cost me one BP, okay. No. No, so we're going back. Okay, so that's what, that's, that's what the transceiver's for. LB, up, X. Blast door. Open the blast door. Over here. Eh, there we go. X. Press X again to detonate it. Well, not when I'm talking to something. There you go. Okay, uh, mice are running away. Speed around under obstacles. So you have a jump and a roll. See, so crouch, so pressing crap jump while crouching does nothing. And you can't air roll. So it's weird that so you don't have to, so you can't crouch jump at all, and there's no sliding. Okay, that's a weird decision. I don't really need that, but I'll grab it. Probably keep it for later. You've already established that. Yeah, so there's no slide. That's weird. Now this game has a Mega Man thing going on. Lots of 90 degree angles in this game. It's like in the old days. Oh, follow the rat, right? Yep, see? The rat led me... Yeah, the fox led me here. And he disappeared. Give me that. Bronze coin, yay! Uh, how can I look at my menu? Right trigger? Left trigger? These look like, uh online uh online conversations online uh chat commands i guess but obviously i'm playing this game offline so whatever okay we can craft obviously a bunch of enemies are oh it's a animals running around and the bridge is out fine Whoops, wrong button. Can I pick it back up? Yeah, okay. So I press down to pick it back up. Press X to lay down the C4. Press down to pick it back up. That's cool. LB, up. Let's get my gun out. Steel and aluminum. Transceiver, then press up and down. Select who you call. Oh, okay. They'll bring you help as long as you have battery life. Okay, so that's what that was about. LB, transceiver, X. Miss Zero will transport you. I have one, two, three, four. I have eight pips of battery power. I can spend one of them to be teleported back to the start of the level. So no. So about Blue Bell. So I have Miss Zero, Blue Bell, Golden Gate, Cadillac, and Bobby Ryak. Is that like Dennis Dyack? I don't know. Uh, I can send over a package of first aid care for three battery points. Nope. Golden Gate for a C4 supply. Uh, how many? Um, it costs five battery points. It doesn't say how much she gives you. I don't know. Call Cadillac for a shock... What's a shock bomb? I guess he's hiding. <laughs> he's hiding behind his hand. Leave them. I can send you over to Choppy to pick you up. You want to quit the mission? The mi Queen of the mission is free. Okay. Okay, we're out. We've already established that. Okay, I can't go any higher. Let me see if I can go up here. Yeah, I can go up here. Let's just keep looking around. Can I kill these things? Yeah, but I have, but I have C4. I guess you can give me more. It's always that. X. Down we go. So this is basically a 16-bit game, all things considered. And again, I like the idea of these 16-bit games that like. Well, I don't want to leave that ah, crap. Let's come back to this level, I guess. So it's like a Monster Hunter, where it's like there's a countdown at the end of the level, and you can pick. You have to pick up the loot before the timer runs out, <laughs> which is kind of cute. So I can come back here in a second. So I got my uh, money. So can I come back here? Bonic Mize grant you special skills, but beware of the side effects. 
So I can't go back to the level I was just on because I kind of wanted to see if there's anything else I wanted to pick up. Freelancers, develop a team. Here you go. Freelance, best of the best, anyway. In the right materials, I can level do before missions. Okay. Okay, besides, we got a craft crap. That's basically what that's about. Your zeros are nine in the sky. Communication specialist. Greeting some space. Is she wearing a turtleneck? I think she's wearing a turtleneck. The Iron Prince. So I guess he's, I guess he's a double agent, or actually he might just be like a like a a mole. Wailing and running. Like Tomax and Zaymot, <laughs> the Cobra, the Cobra twins. What, what were they called in GI Joe? But yeah, Tomax and Zaymot is who they were. <laughs> Golden Gauge, Supply Specialist. You rendezvous with them. Okay, yes, this, this is pretty old school. <laughs> You're pretty much in like Metal Slug territory. Like military madness, I guess. That had a similar art style, right? It's been a while since I've seen that. And is, I don't even think that that game was a turbo graphics game, right? Because I want to say when Vast Steel came out on the Turbo Graphics 16, there was a reference to military madness. So maybe that was a. Maybe both games were published by Working Designs, or at least localized in North America by Working Designs. And we have to swap out this. Uh, it's an HDMI cable a bit later. We'll see what we can do. Hunting Grounds. Is Hunting Grounds where I started the game? Uh, talk. I like the smell of most things in the morning. Okay, so we're just going to say different things. Okay. I got to select the mission. I want to go back to where I was, actually. Yeah, Tomax and Zaymon. Yeah, these are all ornamental, aren't they? So they're the Runway Brothers. Okay. So if Tomax and Zaymont were a bit more stylish, I guess. Hunting Grounds. We'll see what's going on. That's a research dream. Might as well research. So is this where I, st this is where I, this is where I started? Okay, I can't kill the rabbit. Or if I can... See if I can crouch and kill it. If I can just shoot it. There's also that. Yeah, I can. I can kill him. Okay. Okay. Of course, he disappears. Darn it. Ah. Darn it. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Reload. Press RB to reload at any time. We're gonna go up. Let's see how far up we can go. Actually. Can I shoot any of this stuff? Okay, I can't shoot diagonally, but at least I can shoot upwards, which is more than I can say for Metal Slug. Let me start on that. Can't even shoot straight up in Metal Slug. Never understood that. Okay, so. We good? Can we shoot downward? Yeah, we can. Of course, there's no stationary, you know. Hold one button down so you can shoot in all eight directions without moving, like in Contra 3. That's too bad. Oh well. Maybe it makes design the levels a lot easier knowing you can only shoot in three directions. <laughs> and crouching, of course. Uh, wood. So I guess I, this is as far up as I can go. So let's go up to the let's go up to the right. See how far we can uh, go. See if we can grab anything else. 
reload. Well, I can shoot that. Ah, oh, good, I can grab this food. And some dragon fruit. This is gonna work out. What's the point of this being here? Oh, well, whatever. I guess I thought these levels were, um, were randomized. Maybe they're not. So this fruit will not go to waste. We can only carry so much stuff, remember, but... Eventually we'll end up eating it if we need the food. Ow, ow, ow! Hey, that rabbit hurt me! Wow. Well, can't go over there. Well, got something over here. Totally worth it, right? So what's my backpack look like? Let's see. Reload. Well, we're not using that. We're using a gamepad, dude. Oh, well. Thanks for not telling me nothing. Worthless. Double tap to roll. Quick on select sounds interesting. What is double... Does that mean double tap the mouse or something? So what does double tap to roll even mean in this context? Unless they told you that. So much for games having reasonable documentation. I guess I'm supposed to read a PDF or something from a website. Okay, so I broke that and there was nothing inside. Hey! Eat it. There we go. Weapon. Shoot. Weapon. So I don't know what that does. You have no idea what that does. I think I got everything I need from this area. Looks like these animals. Darn it. As soon as it gets a wall, it just disappears. Whatever. Can't get wood from a log. Imagine that. Destroy him! Wait. Grunt's coin. Another one? That thing, does that thing just constantly respawn? <laughs> he buggered off. He so we'll wander around a bit and then end the video. I just wanted to kind of see how this game ran, honestly. I mean, I have unlimited bullets. I might as well just shoot him. I haven't bothered with the knife at all. Can't go that way. Yeah, the eyes in the distance are a nice touch. I'll be the first to say that. Ha! Feather. Oh, wait, shoot papaya. There we go. So if I can only hold so many items in my inventory, where, where's my inventory? Track, uh, there it is. I had to press select. Proficiencies. None. Brilliant. Materials. Who knows the most common metal on earth, really? Who knew? Bolt 45. Works every time. Mm-hmm. Hoorah! Hoorah! <sighs> so what's next? Yeah, I'm supposed to play some more Mini Metro. It's my after work game. <laughs> my brain off game. So he's got a he's got a beastiary, I suppose. <laughs> Chase the white rabbit. Lagomorphs, yeah. Weakness to fire, two hundred hit points. Drop small meat bone. So it's just for cra for craftables. There's a black rabbit here somewhere. Best kind of rabbit. Uh, talk. He's the spook, huh? I don't know if I like your language. Wolf. Eh, we'll go over there later, I guess. Yeah, I got a full bunch of batch of ammo, so we're fine. And the side effects. Okay, chef, hoarder, guarantees enemies will drop material, maybe rarer ones. Well, what's the side effect? Oh, jinx. Oh, okay, so that's the benefit. Enemies, oh, the jinx is decrease the chances of making enemies drop rare materials. Okay. 
So they always drop stuff, but they're less likely to drop the rare stuff. That's, that's a cute idea, actually. Trade-offs for upgrades. I like that idea, actually. I'm sort of curious which ones, which, like, which side effects do you want? Like, this one has no side effects, which is good. Health items become more effective. Super effective, one could say. Uh, make your luck with this mod. More chance of finding rare materials. Pro side, you get more rare materials. On the downside, you get less money, which you might not even need. Parachute. Just like parachute pants. Can't touch this. Prevents hard landing. That sounds cool. We don't have any materials. We haven't collected any materials for any of this crap, really. So we'll get some later. So we'll worry about that later. Can't install anything that we don't have. Yeah, yeah, space travel, blah, blah, blah. Is her hair blowing in the wind? Yeah. So I think this game might have been made by the people who made uh, Scott Pilgrim. It kind of has that look. Of course, I can't play it because, you know, it's been delisted. You know, it is. <laughs> One of the, I think it's the most infamous D-listed game of all time, if I'm not mistaken. That or DuckTales Remastered. But that there's a physical release of DuckTales Remastered. Good luck finding Scott Pilgrim, unless you have an old hard drive lying around. I can also keep it in my supply box. So if I, so if I run out of space, that's what's in my backpack. That's all I have in my backpack? Really? I can carry up to five. I guess I'm fine. Okay, so I'm only carrying two healing items in that backpack. And I can buy some of the supplies I want, right? Can I buy like the craftable? Can I buy the crafting materials? Twenty-nine nine. So I'm getting I'm getting money in integral dollar values, and they're selling it by ninety-nine ninety-five. They're selling it with like five cents off, which is kind of amusing, actually. But. Cause I'm gonna have a bunch of five cents. I'm gonna have a bunch of nickels left over. Used to block your riot shield first aid. Those are always, those are always useful, I guess. We'll see. Like we'll play the game before we start buying any of this stuff. Materials sold out, of course. We'll buy some later. Sell what? I can sell that. Sell parts I don't want. That's a lot of stuff here in this inventory. That's a lot of sub. That's a lot of sub menus. <laughs> here we go. You can sell this broad coin, uh, this bronze coin. It's a pretty valuable, actually. So is this just here to be sold, or is it here? Do I? Can I use this for crafting? Because I don't want to sell them all. Biggest ally in the fight against nudity. But I can't eat this stuff, can I? I can't even eat this stuff, can I? Just a second. Inventory. Materials. So I can't eat that. Let's see if I can select it. LB. Okay, so yeah, so I can't eat those that papaya. I just sell it. Or maybe craft stuff out of it. That's amusing. I can always get more, so I'll just sell one of these for a little bit of money. Sell that later. So I found these just lying around. I guess they're just here for selling. Because I can't craft anything with that, can I? How much room do I have? Well, that's, again, it's not very useful. The, game's, the, game's tell me what my, the game does not tell me what my maximum storage level is. Applesauce. 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 Yeah, when you hit somebody, you do a little bounce up. You get a little bit of a... It stops your drop. That's an interesting touch. Yeah, so, you, so it stops your fall if you make contact with an enemy with your melee weapon. That's actually a nice touch. Can't kill the cat, huh? You've already gone over there. So this might be everything I need to see before I end the video. Where do I save? You can access missions that have a rank lower than your... Okay. 
I guess we'll do that later. This is a research stream. Anything going on with this uh, submarine? Guess not. What up, dog? Tiptonius. Well, it's been fun, kid. Nothing to see here. Now, I was just thinking, like, I, forgot, I think I was playing The Swindle recently, and I'm like, you know what? Parallax scrolling is kind of overrated. <laughs> Because anyone can do para anyone can parallax anything these days, <laughs> even really simple art styles. Parallax only really works if you have really good uh, pixel art and or really good uh, what do you call it? Really good scrolling speeds, proper scrolling speeds. Even if you don't scroll the backgrounds at all, that's perfectly fine. But just scrolling everything in any direction just because you can, then you end up with like really crappy, you know, eight bit and sixteen bit shooters. <laughs> Like really crappy uh, turbo graphics shooters that have like seven levels of parallax and nothing worth, and no backgrounds worth watching at all. <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> we don't have a mission yet. The game auto saves though, so I'm not. So we'll just we'll do a quickie if we can. I'll be able to end the video. Actually, it might be a good excuse for me to end the video here, because you know we're recording at too high a resolution. <laughs> 